Hello and welcome to another episode of Double J's List. Uh, if you could hit the subscribe and like buttons, I would really appreciate it. Today I'm going to let you know that you could be running the wrong outlet for your home charging station for your EV. Uh, so uh, if you're like me, you had a uh, 50 amp uh, wire run out to your garage with an outlet. Uh, the electrician installed an outlet with four prongs looked like exactly like this one. In fact, this is the one that was installed. Now, um, this was about three years ago. Uh, not as much was known about these home charging stations than we know now. I think a lot of electricians just defaulted to a standard outlet. This is just like a standard outlet uh, that you would be able to get at like Lowe's, Home Depot, one of the big box stores. Um, and it turns out that these things are made primarily for like washers, dryers, uh, not washers, but dryers, uh, stoves, things that would run for a little while and then turn off and not be used every day. They wouldn't cycle as very much. Um, whereas when you plug in an EV and you charge it every single day and it runs for hours at a time, it can create a lot more wear and tear on the outlet, especially temperature changes and things like that. So, um, what is out now are similar outlets that uh, it doesn't, it looks pretty similar, but if you look closely, it has a little EV symbol right there. See the little green car with kind of a, a plug on it. Uh, this is symbolizing that this outlet is made specifically for charging EVs. Now, if I hold the other one up next to it, you can see that it's just a little bit bigger. Um, and what's, it's, it's also a bit heavier, but when you flip around to the back, it is a lot different. Okay. Uh, this one right here is the standard one. That's, that's inexpensive that you get at the Home Depot. Notice it has Phillips head screws. And if you look closely, they're already kind of like stripping slightly. The edges are a little rounded, um, where this has much more solid Allen keys. If you turn it side by side too, it's a little more, I guess you can't really tell in the photo, but it, this one's a little bit more substantial. The materials inside are better. This thing costs like 10, 12 bucks at Lowe's. These you really can't find at uh, those big box stores. You're gonna have to like order it online or go to an electrical supply house. Uh, these run, at least on Amazon, this one was like 50 to $60. Uh, there's a different number of different companies that make them. This one is, uh, what is the company on this one? Leviton, uh, which is a big company that makes a lot of different outlets and switches and things like that. So uh, it's a reputable name, but uh, yeah, you definitely want to do this and, and run one of these. Um, I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to change your outlet in case it's wrong. Uh, I'm just going to let you know that this is the sort of thing that you need to do. Um, one of the things that you'll need to notice is uh, it's got Allen keys and it advises on the packaging. It actually says to use a, a torque wrench or torque screwdriver and tighten it to uh, 75 uh, pound inches um, of, for, of torque for each one of these. You have to use a torque wrench uh, to make sure that it's correct. There's none of that stuff I, that I could, I've seen on these like little screws. It's like changing a, an outlet, house outlet. So um, especially with the cycling uh, the, the heat and cooling that can wind up creating some, some gaps in play and, and heat. So hopefully this gets rid of my problems with the errors, uh, that I've been getting on two of my three charging stations. I got a new one that it doesn't error on, but, uh, I'm going to try this with the old ones to make sure that this is the problem or, um, I, I suspect there could be a problem with the incoming voltage to my house from the pole. Um, that could be creating the errors, but it's not an issue. Another thing to think about since this outlet is just a little bit bigger. These run just a hair over two inches. These run about two and a half inches. Um, if you buy one, you also have to buy a new plate. So I have an, a four and 11 sixteenths box, which is the a little bit larger size than the standard four inch box, um, which adds a little bit of depth too. So it gives a little extra room for the wires because this one is just a little bit taller. So this already has, my box already have the room for it. Um, but this is the hole for the standard one right? And the standard outlet fits in there fine. But when you get the new one, it doesn't fit. There is this one that's made by a company called Rayco, R-A-C-O, and this is the model 888. So it has a hole that's just over two and a half inches. I think it's 2.65 or something like that. So this one 
easily fits in it actually there's a little bit of play but the holes line up for the outlet to be able to screw in which is what's really important and these holes line up with holes that are in my existing outlets so box so it will work uh, if you have a four inch box you might have to get an extender to bump out the front to have a little more space in the back for this part of the outlet uh, and the wires and things like that are associated with it you might not uh depends but i would strongly advise looking into that uh, before you do that if you have a four inch box if you have a four and 11 16 you should be okay so anyway if you have any comments go ahead and add them uh to the uh, bottom if you have any questions i'll try to answer them the best i can i'm not an electrician uh i just can do enough to to get myself in trouble i suppose so uh thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button